All right, today we're gonna go over the most common clog issues with the head unit of the Bamboo Lab due to bad filament or whatever the case may be. Maybe it got overheated in here because it's really hot in the area. You've got the printer in and you didn't leave the top off or the door open, but these are the most common. This is the quickest, easiest way to do it. I've even done some of these while the print was paused and was able to resume. So take the head off, set it to the side somehow. Um, this is the filament sensor that tells it whether it's in or not, is this little thing right here. So you can take these two tiny, tiny screws out that one and this one. Make sure you pull your Bowden tube out. All right. And then this little thing, you can just tip to the side and it comes right out. This is the switch that actually tells you tells the printer whether there's filament in it or not. Sometimes stuff in here will get clogged. This is what I've taken out during prints. Paused it, taken it out real quick, cleaned it out. You can see down inside to see if there's stuff still stuck in there. <clears throat> if there is, then you get to turn it off and take a step farther. If it isn't, then you can totally clean this out, put it right back in, and you can resume your print. Otherwise, we'll continue moving forward. So, sometimes you'll have to take the entire extruder out. Very easy. So we're gonna take this screw out of the cutoff blade. Screw it out a good ways. It should lay right out. All right, then we're gonna take the two head screws out. forward a little bit and you should be able to pull the whole head out be careful with the wires that are right here they're behind this hook you can pull them out really easily one by one they should all come out then up here you can just take and pull these little ones out. Be very careful pulling out some of the smaller ones. You don't want to break any of these. These connectors are pretty fragile sometimes. Take that, set it off to the side. This, I like taking out and leaving out because it's glued in. I don't ever like removing the glue. I've never had an issue with it, so I haven't had to remove the glue to take that out. So now, there's a couple more screws we're going to take out. There's this one down here in this corner. Oops, I'll have to get that in a second. And there's another one back here in this corner. And that one comes out. Now the extruder should come right out, unless I'm missing one. Um, yep, I'm missing one. There's one right here. In this top corner, and I just dropped that screw too. Now this extruder pops right out. So, in that hole, where the filament goes down, you can see through it right now, it's clean. <clears throat> That'll get a clump of stuff in it. 
And if you take this screw, this screw, this screw, and this screw out, it's very easy to do. Hang on, we're gonna we're gonna pause and we're gonna move to the table so we can actually watch this better. Okay, now that we're out on the table here, we're gonna take these out. All right, this is kind of a pain to do, but it does work. Just keep wiggling and it should come apart. So right in here, right in here, because your filament comes through the top into that hole. Hi there, it's great to talk to you. Stupid Alexa. The filament comes through the top in this hole and it comes out the bottom. So in here where the gears are, if it gets a little overheated, you'll get a little clump of something between this wheel that it rubs in and in that. And it, no matter what it does, it will not be able to push it out. So you gotta take this apart, clean this area out and then you can just line this straight back up. Goes back in just like that. That goes back on just like that. You just put, put it all back together exactly the way you took it apart. It goes comes apart, goes together real simple. The only time I think I had a problem taking this apart was the very first time I did it. A, I didn't really have any idea what I was doing because there were no videos. And there were no instructions on how to take it apart. And that little piece of filament that had gotten melted in there and stuck made this thing pretty difficult to wiggle apart. So if it is difficult to wiggle apart, you'll have to mess with it for a little bit and just see what you can get. I was finally able to get mine apart by looking down where this wheel is and looking in what I could see, because you can kind of see in there, the wheel in there too. Um, just seeing what kind of clumps you could find and possibly hook out with some of these little tiny tools. Um, and I was finally able to get this apart, get it cleared and get it back up and working. We'll move back over to the machine and put everything back together. All right, now that we're back over here, we'll go ahead and reassemble everything. Exactly the opposite way that we took it apart. I guess I should have set my wrench down first. There we go. Slides really easily back in there. You want to tighten them just so they're snug. They don't need to be over tightened. You don't want to strip anything out. Again, careful with these wires. You don't want to mess up any of these connectors. Now that we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in just so it's not hanging. That just pushes in, clips right back in there. Two tiny little screws.
Now we'll take the head unit and we'll plug all these tiny little things back in. Um, you want to do the smallest one because it's at the bottom first. And the other two don't really matter what order you put them in. I just like to do the little one because it's harder to get once these other ones are in. Feed your wires back through. Push your print head back up in there. Make sure those wires are back there so they're not in the way. I don't like to tighten these screws up until both of them are in and I know they're flush. Make sure the head's in. Go ahead and tighten up both screws. Okay. And then just take your blade Feed it right back in, hold it in. Screw the stop screw back in until it's flush in, just till it's snug. All ready to go. Plug your Bowden tube back in. All your clogs have been cleared and you're ready to start printing again. There you go.